here it was terrible, so there you have it. <laughs> it's good times. Get the game, it's fun. But, moving right along, of course, we've got roughly an hour left to streams. I mean, fuck it, let's get some kitty powers going. <laughs> that's why not. I need to set up things so people know I'm streaming it, but that that's fine. That is fine. Fine and dandy. I do need to launch the game, though. All right. Let's get this going. We're doing a thing. Oh, my God. King of Fighters 13 Steam Edition. I still haven't played that yet. I should, though. I totally should. All right. I just need to let everyone know that I'm playing this. So I'm just going to update my things. And then we're going to launch the game for reals. I mean, I guess I could just launch the game now. Why not? There's no reason. I have it, I have it all set up and everything. Of course I do. Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do-boo. Here we go. It'll launch eventually, I'm sure. Why is why is this so fucking bad? Give me titles, you bastard. Alright, now we of course have to wait for the game to launch as well. For some reason it's taking its sweet time. I'm not sure why. Um, in the meantime. I don't know why Kitty Powers, but it's like one of those go to games when you've just just ended too early. Kitty Powers Matchmaker is the game you can play if you want. If you're a derp. There we go. Jesus Christ. Just pops up like... Just like like that. Just like that. That's how it does it. Alright. I don't need this page anymore. There we go. Alright. Great. Let's just jump right in. Oh my god. I'm already so thrilled. If your friends play the game, you'll see them as customers in your agency. Oh my god. I don't know any anyone else that plays this game. Let's find out. Oh, I got some mail too. Friends, I have no friends. Play this game so that Barry can, uh -huh. Uh -huh, so he can, he can set you up with awful, awful people. Oh yeah, Freya also plays this game. Let's see. If you have a large friends list, it will take a while. Let's see. All time best five v thirty one. I don't even know what any of these mean. I have, I have not played much of this game lately, so not this week and uh, this week at any rate. But oh my god. <laughs> That's fabulous. I'll do whatever you say. It's great. Poke myself with a car poke for a while. I can. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh my goodness. So, couples made weekly. Best five. So five in one week. That doesn't sound right. I'm sure I've done more than five in a single week. But let's check our mail. It's Tyrone Wagmore. 90 days ago. Oh no. A little, a little bait of fuckhold. A uh, cuckold fuckwit just walked out on her and I don't know why. Dear Barry, unfortunately Lila and I have decided to split up as we were completely incompatible. There are some things I liked about Lila, mainly her attraction to online shopping, but her unnatural dedication to not using a plate was just a step too far. Never again, never again. I did actually lie quite a lot, but I was just telling her what she wanted to hear. It was a total disaster, we're moving on to opposite sides of the globe. We hate each other so much. I, I hate her so much I have to leave. I have to fucking leave. Jesus Christ. Sincerely, Tyrone, of course. Ouch! My reputation took a hit. I'm now great. Fucking hell, what about uh, Megan Balland? Oh, see, this is much better. Here we go. Dear Barry, Isaac and I are still together, and we got married. We both really enjoy rollerblading, so we're really, com we're really compatible. We're so compatible that we can easily live with his obsession with moving the mowing the lawn. And the best thing is, I was completely honest with him. We're so happy with the way it worked out. We'll name our first child Kitty, even if it's a boy. Lots of love, Megan and Isaac. That takes them back to fabulous? Not quite. Okay. We need to do some work. Okay. Let's just jump right in. Why not? <laughs> Carefree personalities love freedom and don't mind chaos. Sounds like me. Applying finishing touches to the things. Alright. Hello, peoples. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'll choose a client. Let's see. Uh, I'm Denise, I'm a celebrity activist, and I'm looking for a woman. VIP's all over the place, though. Ooh, here we go, here's a fucking hopeless guy. Hi, I'm Orville. I'm a third server, and I'm looking for a woman. You sound like you're perfect for me, boy. Hello, I'm Orville. I'm a food server, and I'm looking for a woman. I'm interested in making campfires, bird watching, and microscopes. Okay, I should be writing these things down, of course. It's been a while, I need to remind myself. We've also unlocked bad habits, too. That's a thing to take into account. Making campfires. I don't think we have to remember his shit, do we? Um, bird watching. 
I'll write it down anyway, just in case. And microscopes. Sounds like a bit of a fucking nerd if you ask me. Ah. And I love green eyes and dark brown ah. hair. I'm relaxed, methodical, extrovert, traditional, and romantic. Oh. My bad habit is chewing nails. Ah. And my guilty pleasure is folk music. Ah. You are so undateable. Can you help me find my soulmate? I'm sure they're a practical type. Bless. Oh, bless. All right, let's see what we got. We got, uh, oh, we got we got some good candidates here. Let's see. Anastasia Tuxton. Oh, she's VIP. Let's not go to VIP land. Oh, a cryptozoologist, really? Fuck off. Oh, here we go. Uh, we got Jemima Loveway. Oh, she's an internet personality. She was created by someone online. Postwoman, Taurus. Let's see. Acrobatics, power tools. Now, you know what? She's not terribly affluent, so she might be easy to impress. She likes the black hair. Um, we don't know anything else about her, so, you know, maybe we'll give her a go. Alternative makeup artist? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Club DJ Minty Tuck Castle. Let's see. Oh, we've also got used car sales pers uh, sales person. Nadia Goodsell. She might actually be better. She might be practical. Swimming with dolphins, wearing lycra, jogging. We'll give her a go, first of all. Uh, she might be the one we're looking for. Oh, how about kebab shop worker Patience Hel uh, Helfland? Okay, they've got compatible star signs. Uh, he'll like her hair. She likes Halloween scantily clad heroes and animated gifts. It's a bit of a nerd. Okay. Figure skater, archaeologist. And we got some unsuitable people here. She's a lesbian, never mind. Oh, but he would have loved the shit. No, she would have loved the. Wait, what? No. He would have loved the shit out of her eyes and her hair, right. Oh well. Uh, let's give what's her name a go. Yeah, Patience Helfland might be the one to go with. We'll give her a go. We've, we've got three shots. We can give those three one star girls a go. Alright, let's go. He's practical. She might be. Come on down. Oh, wait, never mind. Are you trying to send me on a date, then? Your mind is more changeable than the weather. I know, I know. I forgot to check her interests, that's all. Do, 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 do. I mean, Sandra's very attractive, but I mean, come on. Uh, there she is. Okay. Her interests are Halloween, which is great. I can, I can dig that. I mean, Jesus Christ, if you don't win her heart, I will. She likes scantily clad heroes. And animated gifts. She loves gifts. Who doesn't? Fuck me. Um, alright, and she's a kebab shop worker. There's nothing wrong with that. You can get it, you can score a freebie from her. Alright, all villain patience. Come on down. Let's see how we go. Watch the envelopes. Okay, uh, what do we want? Um, anything easy. Let's go American style. America! Okay, keep your eye on America. Oh. Oh, I think that's the America. Alright! Route 69. Route 69. That's a snazzy one. <laughs> that's a snazzy one, I know. Oh my goodness, patience, what do you want in my hair? Uh, let's see. She likes blue eyes and dark brown hair. So I will need to change my hair to dark brown. I think that could work for you, buddy. Here we go. Yeah, I think this is gonna work for you. Ching! Oh. Ah. Um, I'm not really... I don't really care about changing your outfit. I mean, I don't know what kind of fucking outfit you're wearing anyway, so let's see. Hairstyle. Mm. Orville's current hairstyle will have a magnetic attraction for edgy types more than any other. Mm. Edgy and hipster types, um, uh, most of all will think Orville's hate, uh, facial decor is stunning. Mm. And Orville's outfit will most melt the hearts of practical types. Okie doke. Hmm. Now we'll see how we go. Ching! I don't really know anything about this woman, so we'll see. Configuring naughtiness tangentials. <laughs> Methodical personalities like punctuality. Okay, it's not raining today. Ooh, here we are at the restaurant. And good weather is something we have to remember. Boom. Because I cheat. Cheating is always good. Hello, are you patients? Correct, I would therefore suggest you must be Orville. Oh, she's a nerd. Pleased to meet you. Nice together. <laughs> they look nice. Uh, may I commend you on your timekeeping? Yes, I don't like keeping people waiting. This eating establishment is more than satisfactory. Yes, it's quite popular, really. Your hair's a nice shade of dark brown. It's merely light reflected in particular wavelengths, but thanks. Your follicle coloration is pleasing to me. 
Thanks, I'm glad you like it. Just wait till you're fishing it out of the plug hole. Oh god, or out of your teeth, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh goodness me. Oh my. Uh, <coughs> Alright. Oh, look at this. See, the waitresses are always waifu material. It's great. Good evening. Would you like to order now? <laughs> yes, please. Ooh. What would you like? Ooh. I would like to ingest a hot... A uh, white meat dish. Okay, she's not a vegetarian. She is fuckable material. We need this in our lives. A hot white meat dish. Uh, southern fried chicken ought to do the trick. Let's see, there's alligator steak, lobster rolls. Lobster rolls sounds a bit more fancy. Let's go with that. Two portions of lobster rolls, please. An inspired choice. I will eat it, but I will not enjoy it. Oh, no. Should have gone for the fucking chicken, shouldn't I? Pull that love handle, do it! Okay, now you can't ask about uh, guilty pleasures on a first date, I know that for sure. The weather's boring, but let's give it a go. So, what about today's weather today? Could you repeat that, please? Oh, oh, what was the weather doing again? Good weather. Wasn't it lovely weather today? Affirmative, you are correct. Yes, anyway, I'm glad we got that cleared up. How incredibly banal. <laughs> but it's very handy to avoid pissing them off. What is this? The weather is obviously inconsequential. Alright. Dinner is served. I don't really like her fringe though, it's terrible. Pull that love handle, we've already talked about the weather. Okay. Let's talk about spiciness, that's always fun. Would you rather have a game of Snap? Or Spin the Bottle? Let me think about that. Snap. Yay, they're compatible on the romantic scale. What is your answer to the same question? I would have to say Snap. Romance levels are at maximum. Yeah, spot on. <clears throat> Excuse me, would you like something for our dessert trolley? I'm not sure, but I'm willing to risk this, this sugary impact on my BMI. Excellent. One moment while I bring the trolley. Oh, we could be all night at this rate. Ah, the desserts have arrived and they all look so edible. Pay close attention. Skinny latte. Vanilla ice cream. Banana split. Cappuccino. Ice ice baby. Alright. What do we got then? All our desserts are handmade and delicious. Take your pick. The one after the first one looks most digestible. What the fuck was that one again? That's why, that's why I fucking take screenshots, yo. Okay, first one was a- oh, it was a banana split, wasn't it? Let's have a look. Vanilla ice cream. Oh. I don't know what it was! Ah. Hang on. There was the cappuccino, which was the last one. The banana split. Vanilla ice cream looks like it was the first one. Uh, second one. Yeah, the cappuccino was, like, something as well. So, the one after the first one. Anything for you. I'm gonna go with the vanilla ice cream. Can I have an order of vanilla ice cream, please? You clearly have great taste. I have not experienced anticipative sal salivation like this before. I knew they'd like that one, because I cheated. <laughs> Oh my goodness, alright, pull that love handle. We've talked about spiciness, we've talked about the weather. What else have we got? Let's talk about social shit. On an evening out, do you prefer a quiet pub or a packed nightclub? Let me think about that. A quiet pub. What is your answer to the same question? It's lying time. Here we go, spin the wheel of misfortune. Do it. Hope we land on a good one. Oh my god, the wheel of the worst. Yes, looks like we're gonna get away with this lie, but can we get a coin? Nope. Alright. The lies have it. Oh, they got away with it. I'd have to say a quiet pub. We prefer being off the radar. You're so right. It would be expedient to reimburse the establishment. I'll call our waiter. What did the waiter look like again? Oh, come on. The only female wait here. Yeah, it's really Angus, isn't it? Sure, it's gonna be that fucking loser. It's Hattie. Oh my god. <clears throat> Do excuse me, here's your bill. Thanks very much. We only had to lie once. It is fortunate that you cor correctly identified the waiter. I never forget a face. They're closing the restaurant. Okay, it is getting late I suppose. And off we wander. No free money cat today. I quite like them. Yeah, fuck it, she's a one star. She's not going to be terribly hard to please. Will you go out with me? My dick's only four inches, but I guess that's fine, because you're a one-star girl. Do you want to get more serious? Affirmative, you've won my cardiovascular organ. Woohoo, this is the best feeling ever. Yeah, stick it in, lad, you've done it. You've done a thing for the deal, and I couldn't be more proud of you. Well done, you two. Don't fuck this up. 
<laughs> Alright. So that was easy, they've become a couple. Definitely my type. I am delirious with happiness. Oh, good on you, internet girl. She's an avatar bonus as well, so we get an extra 15 coins. Oh, look at that. Extra, extra points. And I'm fabulous once again. I'm fabulous. This is great. We got the extra tip and everything. What does GPU stand for? Giant pink unicorns? Giant pink... Oh, I don't want to know. Alright, but we're moving on. We've got more things. I want to try and level up before the end of the stream. We've still got more than half an hour left, so let's keep going. Fuck it, let's keep this gravy train going. We would have done 3D graphics, but they said I'd use up too many polygons. Sorting men from the boys. Oh my goodness. Alright. Let's see, choose a client. Are you okay? Yeah, you're only two stars. Hi, I'm Miriam. I'm a funeral director. Oh, I'm sure you're a barrel of laughs. And I'm looking for a man. We'll do our best, Miriam. We will do our best. Miriam D Dinglebook. <laughs> Oh god, hello, I'm Miriam. I'm a funeral director and I'm looking for a, a man to dingle my bocker, I guess. Let's see, I'm interested in solar power, building tree houses, and exploring shipwrecks. And I love grey hair and ginger eyes. Wait, no, grey eyes and ginger hair, not the other way around. I don't even think there are ginger eyes. I'm active, methodical, introvert, traditional, and romantic. And you're into gingers! You're a very odd woman. Well, I guess you are a funeral director. My bad habit is being a tightwad. And my guilty pleasure is fairy stories. What? <laughs> Can you help me find my soulmate? That's a classic practical type right there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, well, let's see if we can find the man for you. Oh, come on! Come the fuck on! What is this? What is this fucking Tumblr Jesus? He's a fashion blogger! Go fuck yourself, Fletcher Masterwater! You look like a fucking train wreck. It's like John Lennon fell into a vat of fucking purple grape juice. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, help me. Help me, Paul. I've fallen into the grape yogurt again. <laughs> Too much LSD. Oh, Arthur. Oh, Arthur. It looks like Grimace. Look at poor Arthur. He's a risk assessor. He should have, uh, risk-assessed his fucking hair, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Alright. <laughs> oh, Aiden. Aiden, why? <laughs> it's, he looks like his hair is woven into his fucking turtleneck. Oh, God. Not exactly the best-looking blokes. Oh, fuck me so is... Uh, you know what, Miriam? I don't know what to fucking do. I don't know what to do. Is Isaac New Newhoven. Oh, he's an architect and he's very affluent, so no. Uh, and then we start to getting the use uh, the uh, unsuitable people. Betsy Bun Bundana? She's a superstar musician too. Never heard of her. All right, well let's have a look. She's she's a practical type. Of course, she has to deal with cadavers. Of course she is. He's a massage therapist, old Aiden Troutnall. He, his his interest is nuclear disarmament, hot tubs, and climbing trees. This could work. Hmm. I don't know. Let's have a look and see. We've got a prison officer. Albie B Barnings. Or Barnkins. Barnkins. That's a fucking weird name. Arthur Huntland, who is a risk assessor. And a fashion blogger, Fletcher. Uh, Jeff Wigby, who is a figure skater. Uh, they've got com comparable, um, uh, compatible uh, star signs. So maybe... Like, Bling Watchers playing Polo and Ab Crunchers. Maybe not for our practical Miriam... Low carb diets, parachuting, playing table tennis. Oh, uh, he's going to be difficult to please. TV producer, go fuck yourself. Oh, we know he's practical though. Somehow, for, for some reason, we know he's practical. I must have spent money on these fucks. Hmm. Isaac Newhoven, studying medicine. He's going to be difficult to please, and she's like, a, a, she's a two star, not a one star. So maybe this could work. Oh God, Stanley, why? Why the fedora, why? All right, we don't know anything about him. Let's see, balsa wood model making, artisan beers, fantasy novels. He's a fucking nerd. Uh, wait, what the fuck is he? He's a science fiction writer, of course he is. Okay, Travis uh, Nickerite is a nurse. That's practical-ish, isn't it? Like spirit guides going to bookshops, basket weaving. I don't know. 
I really don't know. He will like her eyes, though. Fuck you, VIP. Oh. Oh dear, comic book arts. You know what, we'll, we'll give Travis a, a go, I suppose. Just don't talk about star signs. You like her eyes, and let's see. Blonde hair. We can get blonde hair going, that's easy enough. Oh jeez, alright, and what does he like? He's a nurse, and he likes spirit cooking. <laughs> spirit guides. Bookshops. And basket weaving. What a fucking pleb. Alright, here we go, we'll, we'll try this out. Miriam and Travis, come on down, let's see how we go. Okay, watch the envelopes. We're gonna go for something medium, maybe, this time. Maybe the, the Italian restaurant. Okie dokie. Oh, E. I think this is it, I'm not sure. Hello, it's a Mario's Mansion. Mario's Mansion, hey? That's a fancy choice. That's a fancy choice, that one. Alright, here we go. Uh, Travis wants you. To have blonde hair. You are you are going blonde, girl. I'm so sorry. It's gotta happen though. Ooh, black is nice. Dark brown is nice. You're going blonde though. There we go. Oh god, ginger. Oh, uh, uh, not bad. Definitely better than red. Red is not right. Ginger's fine in this game. She doesn't have the freckles and the the corpse-like skin, so that's fine. Chin done. The rest of it, I'm I don't give a shit. Travis will love the shit out of her looks. I'll say that. Right, well, let's go! When you see a spider, make your mind up quickly about whether or whether to squish it or not. I didn't know- I haven't seen a spider in this game yet. Oh, it's raining. Uh, I wonder what they're wearing. Hello! Welcome to Amadio's Mansion! Hello, are you Travis? Yes, I am. You must be Miriam. Pleased to meet you. You're right on time. Yes, I don't like to keep people waiting. Oh, this place is very fancy. Only the best for you. I love your green eyes. Thanks, that's a lovely thing to say. I love your blonde hair, too. Ooh, the compliments are coming thick and fast. Oh, waifus every time. Good evening. They're, they're waifu waitresses every time. Good evening. Would you like to order now? Yes, please. What would you like? I'd like something cold with no meat. Oh, I'm a vegetarian, so I never eat meat. Also, I hate mushrooms. Cold, no meat, no mushrooms. Uh, what's the Insulata Caesar? That seems like it probably is it, but I better make sure. It's a Caesar salad, right? I know my Italian. I'm not looking this up. I want mushrooms. Yeah, we'll go with that. Two portions of the Insulata Caesar, please. An inspired choice. Sounds delicious. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Look, they're lapping it up. Good. Let's just keep this going. Pull the love handle. It's just shaped like a dong. Alright, no guilty pleasures. We'll talk about the weather. It's raining. So what about the weather today? Uh, pardon me? Well, it's very bad weather, isn't it? Wasn't it terrible weather today? Yes, it was. Yes, anyway, I'm glad we got that cleared up. The conversation around here is pretty low quality. Oh! Free thing! Shoot someone with love. You know what? He probably likes her quite a bit, so let's shoot her. She might not be that keen on him. We'll see. Oh. All right, dinner is served. Pull this thing again. Talked about the weather, facial decor, facial decor, and activity. Let's go with activity. Okay, a friend is doing a sponsored skydive. Do you jo join in to earn uh, arms for the the needy, or give them a tenner and wish them luck? Good question. Probably join in to earn arms for the needy. Thank God. <clears throat> so what about you? I'd have to say join in to earn arms for the needy. Great to keep active, isn't it? Great minds think alike. Oh my god, it's the X! Why, hello there, Miriam. How the devil are you? Oh, he doesn't stand a fucking chance. Look at this guy. Uh-oh, it's the X. He had a nine-inch cock. What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna swoon for him again. Hmm, I wonder who this could be. Hi, I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm doing spiffingly, as ever. Anyway, it's simply marvellous to see you. Mustache, bye. Yes, and you. Bye. So who was that? Oh, I don't know anything about his social thingy yet. Oh, yeah, I don't know if he's spicy or romantic. Uh, we better just lie. Someone else. Oh, God, look at how many lies there are on the thing. How many failed attempts at lying, I should say. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Please stop. Please stop. Oh, shit! We're gonna have to pay for another lie. They're not convinced. Cheat! Go! Spin the wheel of misfortune again and pray to baby Jesus that we lie properly this time. 
Oh, this is looking good. Oh, this is looking good. Yes, please stop. And plus 10 coins. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, the lies. Beautiful. Oh, uh, they're just a co-worker. I had a disagreement with ages ago. Well, thank goodness they're gone. I couldn't agree more. Well, this is awkward. Let's pull that fucking love handle. Let's do it. Let's pull it hard. Let's see. Social and organization. I guess I'll go social. When at work, do you keep uh, keep yourself to yourself or get to know everybody? Good question. Probably keep yourself to yourself. This is looking good so far. So how about you? I'd have to say keep yourself to yourself. Why attract unnecessary attention? Exactly. Oh look, here comes the famous chef. Hello, it's -a me, not -a Mario. And I'm a thing, a thing. Oh, good evening, dear guests. I trust the food was simple, was amply satisfying. Yes, it was lovely. Okay, would you mind getting going into more detail? <coughs> what do you think? Oh dear, what should I say now? Here we go. Watch carefully. Presentation. Underbelly. Texture. Overtone. Aftertaste. Hint. Oh shit. Hey. A hint of extravagant opulence. I don't even bother reading it because then I'll forget. Thank you. You are far. You, you are too kind by far. Wow, you really know your foodie jargon, don't you? Thanks. I like to think I know what I'm talking about. I think they want to clear the table. Yes, maybe we should go then. Cat. Nope, no cat today. I really like them. Let's do it. Will you go out with me? Do you want to get more serious? Yes. I think I'm in love with you. Woohoo! This is the best feeling ever. Oh, I'm all excited. I'm all excited. Okay. It's two down. Very nice indeed. Oh my goodness. It seems like we get like ten or so minutes per date. So we could probably go for two more. Congratulations. You've done well. They've become a couple. We're made for each other. Look at that tip. Red hot tip. I'm head over heels in love. Fantastic. That's money. Right. Oh, oh, yep. Two more should get us. Two more successful dates should, should get us to level up. Which is great. Fantastic. Same sex marriage is legal in this game. How refreshing. Applying finishing touches. Oh my god. Alright, I guess we're moving on. We've got all these things. I guess I could go shopping. Restaurants. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. We've got a German restaurant. Oh my god, hitler -san could show up if he wants to. I don't know, I'm thinking of getting another restaurant, but maybe just not right now. And salon, let's see, anything here? Uh, salon cheap gift shop and the expensive gift shop. We can give gifts. Oh my goodness, I feel like I never have enough money. Alright. We're going to keep trying to save money. Guilty pleasure uh, pr pleasures or interests that go against a customer's type. Use them strategically. Weighing up the options. All right. Oh, hello, who are you? I'm Brooke, I'm an anthropologist. Oh, always a fucking anthropologist. And I'm looking for a man. Sure, why not? All right, I'm Brooke. I'm looking, I'm an anthropologist, and I'm looking for a man. I'm interested in studying sociology, budgeting, and microbreweries. And I love green eyes and ginger hair, innit? So you're basically in love with yourself. Well, look at it. I'm relaxed, methodical, extrovert, traditional, and romantic. And me bad habit is working all the time. I, that's that's fine. I can dig that. And me guilty pleasures is like fucking aliens, right? <laughs> can you find me perfect match? That's a classic practical type right there. <laughs> I fucking love aliens, innit? <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Every time I see your fucking face. Every time. Oh my god, okay, so she's practical. She's practical. Got a massage therapist. Oh god. Nuclear disarmament. He'll well, she'll lock like his eyes at least. Hot tubs and climbing trees. Okay. Uh climbing trees, gardening, performance art. He's Oh, here we go. Matching things. Prison officer. Looks climbing trees, budgeting. Let's see if we can find some matching shit. Okay, no matching hobbies. But let's see. Oh my god, he will love the shit out of her, but she won't really care for him. Do do do. Playing tiddlywinks, costume parties, long distance running. He's a TV producer. He can go fuck himself. Do you love any of these guys? You'll love his eyes. Military vehicles, visiting wildlife sanctuaries, writing checklists. He's a risk assessor. That's practical. Let's give Arthur Huntlin a go. Okay, I'm going to write all this down then. 
military vehicles. Uh, wildlife sanctuaries. And of course, writing checklists. It's a bit odd, but it's practical. And that's about it. I mean, I will have to change my hair. I'll have to go light brown instead of fucking ginger. Oh, she likes ginger as well. She likes herself, basically. But you two, come on down. Brooke and Arthur. I like his outfit. He's okay. Alright. What's the envelopes? There, there we're again, two stars, so let's maybe go to a French restaurant this time. Alright. Oh. Oh. E. There it is. Bonjour. Welcome to Chateau, Chateau de How delightful. How delightful. We're going to Chateau de Scargo. And what does he want again? I've forgotten. Light brown, I think. Light brown hair. All right, here we go. Light brown hair. Boom, there we go. See, you're looking better already. The black hair's also kind of good. Blue, no, 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 uh, no. Decent. That's good. But we're going light brown. Okay. Ching, you're not a ginger anymore. Let's do this. Everything else is fine. Practical t types love functionality and are good with their good with their hands. Ooh, matron, sprinkling stardust. Good weather. Oh, how exciting! This <laughs> bonjour and all that. Oh, hello. Are you Arthur? Yeah, you must be Brooke, eh? Oh, well, they both sound the same. Nice to meet you. You got here bang on time, innit? Wouldn't want you hanging around now, would I? This place looks a bit swanky, doesn't it? Not half. Me mates are always going on about it. Your eyes are a nice green colour, innit? Cheers, that's well nice. Your hair's nice and light brown, eh? Cheers, glad you liked it. <laughs> Alright. Good. Oh my god, so many waitress waifus. They're the best. Good evening, may I take your order? Yeah, nice one. What do you fancy then? Oh god, the eyebrows. She could, she could really stand to shape the eyebrows, though. What do you fancy then? I think I want something hot with no meat. Hot with no meat. I like the statue in the background. That's great, I know. Hot with no meat. Fucking hell. Um, hot with no meat. Okay, what's soup I shopping I've, I know it's soup, but... Soup o champagne. Maybe that's champagne soup? I doubt it. If it is, that sounds like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Let's see. I'm gonna Google the shit out of this. I'm gonna have a look. Let's see. Onion. Oh, it looks like, let's see. Cream of mushroom soup. Oh, it's just cream of mushroom soup. Okay. That ought to do the trick then. Two lots of soup au champignon, please. A wonderful choice. Great, sounds lovely. Yeah, I'm starving and all. Ugh, pull that love handle. Do it. Oh, facial decor. Weather. Activity, we're gonna go weather. It's easy. Went that weather of today a bit, you know. Uh, what? Uh, it's pretty good, isn't it? Weather was pretty good today, weren't it? Yeah, it was, weren't it? I suppose at least we got the weather out of the way. I hope we start talking about something more interesting soon, like guns. Uh, dinner is served. Here we go. Well, he's into he's into military vehicles, so he, he would be interested in guns. Bong, bong. Okay, now they have matching horoscopes. Let's see how this goes. What do you think of horoscopes then? I think they're a right load of rubbish. I think they're a waste of flipping time. Yeah, astrology is a right load of old tosh. In it. I'm going to pop outside. Go and make a phone call, ain't I? Uh, okay then. <laughs> Bloody accents. Oh no. Oh blimey, the flipping power's out, isn't it? Oh my god, I hope they don't get lost or something. What's going on? I can't see a blooming thing, in it. What am I going to do? Oh god, do we have to pick which is which is their date? I wonder. Could it be this woman? Could it be this? <laughs> it looks like a burglar. There's a burglar in here. That's why the power went out. It's like, uh, sure, I'm your date, uh, but I gotta go to the car real quick. Oh, there we go. It's the burglar. <laughs> it's great. That's so good. Nice one. The power's back on, in it. Cheers for finding me. I was well lost, weren't I? It's all right. 
weren't gonna leave you in the dark, was I? Now, I've already talked about horoscopes. So let's pull that love handle. We've talked about the weather, we've talked about horoscopes. They're, they're rubbish. Alright, hairstyle. Well, let's go with activity. When watching TV, would you rather do aer aerobics to a fitness video? Or slob on the sofa? Oh, hang on, let me think. Slob on the sofa. What about you, then? Oh, definitely slob on the sofa. No point in rushing into anything, eh? It's right, innit? Oh, God, you two are made for each other. Here's your bill. I hope you enjoyed your meal. Now, fuck right off. You want to go halves? Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> Is he traditional or... We could go boring and go Dutch, but it's we have to play Pachinko. How am I going to do this, then? Alright. And drop a coin. Oh, looks like she's going to be paying. Unless I go for him next. We can do this. Oh, oh God. But it looks like he's, she's paying some more. Come on. Oh, God, she is so paying. This is ridiculous. Come on. We have to get three into his hole. Looks like it could be four now. Okay, there's one. There we go. There we go. Go boring. Go Dutch. Go boring. It's boring, but it's safe. Oh god, please! Please! Oh no! I need to get both these coins in. This is ridiculous. Yes! Alright, here we go. We can do this. I know how to pachinko relatively well. Oh no! Oh no! No, waifu! No, don't you pay for it! Oh, Brooke pays the bill! Don't worry, I'll get it. Tar very much. Oh, thank god. It all worked out. That's right, Treacle. Oh, it's so cute. Blimey, it's getting late. Yeah, it's clear, nearly closing time. You two are adorable. Cat money! Alright. Cool, I think they're really hot stuff. Will you go out with me, sugar? Do you, really want, do you want to get more serious? Not off. You want me over with your charm, ain't you? Yeah, we're in love, ain't we? <laughs> See, every single person that said that now, they've never changed their expression, but that one woman, that one lesbian woman who said, yeah, we're in love, ain't we? And she was, like, really weird looking. She was the only one that went, mm, no, I shouldn't have said that. That was embarrassing, wasn't it? We're in love, ain't we? I guess she's now stopped being like that. But hurrah, hurroo. We're doing pretty well, I think. This has been the most successful session yet. Good job, you two. You're not half in love, are you? All right. We're made for each other. They're like perfect, eh? <laughs> oh, wowee. Wowee. Oh, we're getting there. One more successful successful couple, and then the Love Avenger will move on to level 17. Still fabulous. All right, let's carry on. Make sure you choose conversation topics you think your couple will agree on. Sorting men from the boys, as we always do. All right, how are we doing? Oh, we've got mail. Check them out. Oh, it's Orville Easterland. Oh no, they broke up! I had to finish with Patience because I just wasn't that keen on her. There were some things I liked about Patience, mainly her interest in being bossy. <laughs> what? I'm a bit of a sadist like that, you say. But I just couldn't stand her bizarre compulsion for animated gifts. I told a couple of lies to impress her, but I shouldn't have bothered. I'm not sure, but I think Patience was actually stalking me for a few weeks. Sincerely, Orville. Fucking hell. Oh well, it's a D minus, not an F. We did okay. Fucking hell. Alright. Let's go shopping. We've got some money. Uh, I want to do something. Oh yeah, I want some cheap gifts going here, so maybe... I don't know. What do I want to buy? Restaurant or cheap gifts? I mean, a German restaurant would be cheaper. Oh fuck it, let's get a new restaurant today. Install hidden cameras in the local German restaurant and unlock a new date. Ching! Done! We've bought ourselves a German restaurant. Alright, let's have one more date before we end the stream. The more affluent a client is, the harder they are to please, but the more they'll reward you. I'm fine. I, I, I'm fine with two stars, honestly. They've been giving me decent money. Alright, oh, look at this guy. I'm Benedict. I'm a civil engineer and I'm looking for a woman. He's two stars. I'll take him. Hey. This is a nice chair. Greetings, my name is Benedict. I'm a civil engineer and I'm looking for a woman. I'm interested in orienteering, cleaning the car, and hunting. I have a preference for brown hair, uh, brown eyes, and ginger hair. I'm relaxed, methodical, extrovert, traditional, and spicy. A bad habit is being a tightwad. And my guilty pleasure is girl bands. That's pretty pathetic. Can you locate a suitable love match for me? Preferably someone who looks like Scary Spice. 
They're definitely a practical type. Oh god, we're running into them like crazy these days. Alright, let's see what we can do for you. Here's Anastasia Tuxton. Oh, VIP, no thanks. No TV producer. Oh, massage therapist. Um, strange hat as well. Let's see, she's Libra, massage therapist. She's into fossil hunting. So they both have some like greenish eyes. She's got like more hazel. She has green eyes, but they both like brown eyes. So I don't know. Vitamin supplements, filing systems, and fossil hunting. Sounds like it could be for us. Just don't talk about uh, don't talk about uh, uh, fucking uh, thingies. Yeah, horoscopes. We'll see if there's anyone better. Body's piercing. She'll love his eyes. Oh dear, <laughs> Gladys. Why? Um, Okay, uniforms, mili- she likes uniforms and military uniforms. And watching paint dry. What the fuck is wrong with Helena? She is a bad Thorpe indeed. Silent discos, mushroom, pate, pate, pottery. Cobweb necklaces, conspiracy theorists, scantily clad heroes. Minty Tuck Castle, she likes super- she's a club DJ. Compatible. Stand-up comedy, event organizing, and mix- mixtapes. Giant anime robots. She's a concert viol violinist, though. No one has the same interests ever. It's fucking ridiculous. And he does not want to date a man, so alright. Sports massage, decorating cakes, ab crunches, no, probably not the one for us. Survivalism, roll skating, silicone enhancements, wearing lycra, jogging, swimming with dolphins. Yeah. Wait, she's interested in grey eyes and and grey and white hair, so she's looking for someone that looks just like her. Giant anime robots, board games, rainbows? She's a bit more geeky, I think. Event organising mixtapes mix tapes and stand-up comedy. Let's give Minty a go. She seems like she could be okay. She's a club DJ and he's a civil engineer. Let's give it a go. Alright, Minty, Tuck Castle and Benedict Cumberbatch. Come on down. Ching! Okay, they're two stars. Let's get ourselves a German, German place again. Okay. Actually, not again. We've not done a German place yet. I think this is it. Achtung! The Sausage Factory! Sausage Factory. How exotic. How exotic. Okay. Here we go. We haven't been here yet. This is so exciting. What does she want in hair? She wants dark brown hair. I think that could really work for this guy. Dark brown hair. Yep, see? Already he looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi in Revenge of the Sith. Ching. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Alright, uh, I don't know much about ooh. Minty. Other than she looks kind of like Peggy Hill. So, alright, off we go. <laughs> Here we go. You can upload your avatar to have it appear in your friend's dating agencies. And we're dreaming little dreams to get the game started. <gasps> I didn't check her interests! Fuck! 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 Oh. I didn't check her interests! I need to check these things! It's, it's, it's illegal not to check these things! Oh, God help me. God help me. I have to restart, and I'm going to have to do my job properly. And that is, you know, cheating. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Copyright 2017. So this game came out this year, even. I don't believe this. Seems like just yesterday I was playing this game, and I was like, oh, this is like 2016 shit right here. Alright. And we're going to do this again. Do, do, do. I'm going to do this properly now. Don't forget, you can use the nudge buttons on the fruit machine if you don't see a topic you like. You can just cheat in this game all the time. It's great. Okay. Yes, I know. They're definitely a practical type. Uh, where is our... There we go. Misty. Now, what does Misty like? Stand-up comedy. See, we didn't even check this stuff. Mixtapes. Event organizing. And stand-up comedy. What about sit-down comedy? That's my favourite. When they sit down and they just make jokes and shit. Come on down. Let's try and get the German restaurant again. Well, ah, uh, e. I think this is it. Yes. Go to the sausage factory. Bring me a doggy bag. <laughs> Jawohl. Now I know what hair she wants. It's but just to double check. Dark brown. We're going there. Okay. Ching. We're off to a date. And how's the weather? A customer's opinions on interest will be influenced by their type. Making birds suddenly appear. Good weather all round by the look of it. I would cross my fingers, but that would be irrational. There she is. Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you are minty. 
Yes, I am. You must be Benedict. Most gratifying to make your acquaintance. You're right on time. Unnecessary delay. Oh, there's a car outside. Unnecessary delay would be highly undesirable. Well, this place is very fancy. It is arguably in the top percentile. I do love your dark brown hair. Is that is that like the fucking Nazi SS in the background? It's like, we will continue to patrol our restaurant to make sure that no Jews walk on the premises. I do love your dark brown hair. I appreciate you giving me this information. Oh, it's always a waifu every time. Good evening. Would you would you be ready to order now? Affirmative. What is your preferred sustenance? I'd like something hot with no meat. I'm a vegetarian, so I never eat meat. Oh, God. And I'm on a diet, so no fried food. Okay, hot, no meat, and nothing fried. The spargle looks interesting. What the fuck is spargle? It looks like asparagus. Spargle. That's asparagus and something. I have no fucking clue. Asparagus or garden asparagus. Folk name. Okay, oh. Well, I don't know if it's hot or not. It looks like it is. It looks like it has sauce on it. We'll give it a go. Why not? I require two Russians of sparkle, please. May I say what a superior choice that is. Sounds delicious. Yes, it is. I'm in full agreement. You're a gastronomical marvel. I know. Let's pull that love handle. Let's see what we get. Oh, clothing. Oh, hair. Hmm, social. Let's try social. With regard to social networking, do you add a few people selectively? Or add as many people as possible? Good question. Probably add as many as possible. So how about you? Definitely add as many people as possible. It's good to be sociable. Our thoughts are synchronous. Synchronous. Dinner is served. Let's see how we go. Pull that love hand. We've already talked about social shit. Ding. Bing. Alright. Horoscopes ought to be safe. What is your opinion of horoscopes? I find them fascinating. Oh shit. I didn't know I hated it. I better fucking lie. Who cares? Just lie all the time, baby. Oh shit. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh, this is not looking good. Please, one more. Oh, please. Please. Oh, yes. Lies. Fucking lies. I love it. I think they're uh, trans transiently entertaining. And please, we agree. I'm Cancer. What are you? My birth sign is Pisces. Is this good? We're astrologically perfect. Excellent. Our futures are well placed for success. Oh. Someone in here smells a bit sweaty. <laughs> what? There is no possibility that it is me I bade just prior to this date. Should I apply my emergency deodorizer just as a precaution? One moment, please. I must attend to something in the uh, abolition area. Pixel lie. I know, every time. It works every time. Sure thing, no problem. Are we actually going to a new Spray place? Yes, we are. Spray your specified in the instructions. Really? Spray, Spray your. Done. Press the button. Oh, okay. Spray your client with deodorant for the time specifying the instructions. When you think you're done, press the button. Ho ho ho! Spray for six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully that's okay. You spray for 9.6 seconds. Ah, way too much. Cheating! Oof, that's way too much. I hit the cheat button. I've returned. Apologies for that. For goodness sake, how much deodorant are you wearing? It's too much. Oh god, I wasted that money too! Fuck you! <laughs> oh god! This stage is going to go well, even if pixel cheating was... I mean, you know, that was that was great, but alas, we will have to try again. Oh, God, help me. I know it's five o'clock now, but we're on our last date. We might as well just keep going until we finish this. Fucking hell. Whether this goes well or not, we're going to finish this here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Father. Get on with it. Boom, get on with it. I know what I'm doing. I lost my purse. I think I might have left it in another castle. Oh, you. Weighing up the options. So many options to weigh up. Okay. Sit down. Shut up. I'm setting you up with this girl. Uh, where the fuck are you? There we go. Minty. Come on down. Boom. German restaurant. Now I know how to deodorize myself. Uh, e. I think this is it. Yes! Hitler would be proud. Sausage factory. That's a snazzy one. Alright. Get your hair going. Boom. Onward. Good weather again, hopefully. When you're successfully made a couple, be sure to check your letterbox to see how their relationship panned out. 
Fastening safety belts. Oh, now it's raining. That's not good. I anticipate a pleasant evening. Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you are Minty. Yes, I am. You must be Benedict. Most gratifying to make your acquaintance. You're right on time. All right. This is fancy. All, all as well. Good evening. Are you ready to order now? Affirmative. What is your preferred sustenance? Something hot with no meat. Vegetarian. Also on a diet. Okay, give her... Oh shit, they're different this time. Um, this looks like it's fairly safe. This Kartol Safalfa salad. I will require two rations of Kartol full Safalfa salad, please. May I say what a superior choice that is. I suppose that will do. I fucking hate you. Alright. It's fine, who cares? Bing, Bing, let's see how spicy she is. Are you going to a to you're going to a toga party. Do you wear a king size sheet or a napkin? Good question. Probably a napkin. So how about you? Definitely a napkin. You're a real hot tamale. I like it. I like, I like. Your thoughts. Our thoughts are synchronous. Dinner is served. No, oh, it's this boring dinner. Alright, pull that love handle. We've talked about spiciness. Um, let's talk about activity. You're about to miss your train. Will you run for it? Or wait half an hour for the next one? Good question. Probably run for it. How about you? It's lying time, everybody. I have a good feeling about this lie. I have a very good feeling about this lie. All of a sudden, I don't have a great feeling about this lie. Oh. Fuck me sideways. That didn't work. Cheat! Go! So hopefully we make our money back. Alright, here we go. Oh, shit. This is looking bad. This is looking bad. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Yes, it's looking like it'll stop. Please! Oh, yes! Ten coins! Definitely run for it! It's great to keep active, isn't it? We are apparently very similar. Oh, someone here smells a bit sweaty. Okay, we have to do it properly this time. At least I know what I'm doing now. Here we go. Spray your client with deodorant for the time specified in the instructions. Okay, shut up. I know what I'm doing. Okay, seven seconds. I can time this. Here we go. And... One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there we go. How long was that? You sprayed for 6.4 seconds. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. There we go. We're all good. I've returned apologies for that. Mmm, your fragrance is quite nice. Gratitudes, it definitely is. Well done. You've perfected the art of applying deodorant. It's tricky. It's tricky. Even later that evening. And we're pulling the love handle once again. Something boring will do. Oh yeah, horoscopes. We lied about that last time, didn't we? Oh, well, we might still get away with it. No, you know what? Let's not risk it. When it comes to friends, do you like to organize group activities? Or let someone else organize? Good question. Probably let someone else organize. How about you? Well, shouldn't that mean that you two will get along? Because you'll do the organizing and she won't. Alright, here we go. We're spinning the lie wheel again. Oh, the debauchery of it all. Oh, that's not going to be good, is it? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh. Cheating again. Here we go. It's not looking too good, though. Oh, hang on. No, I take it back. Oh, we might... Yep, no, this is looking good. This is looking good. Just fucking stop. Don't care about the money. Yes. So many lies. Definitely let someone else organize. Let's, let's just take it as it comes. Our thoughts are synchronous. Can you ring me a taxi? My phone has died. Affirmative. Waiter, do you know the number of a taxi company? I absolutely do. Are you ready? The number is... Oh, fuck it. I'm just going to write it down myself. 475-3448. Oh, that's actually pretty easy to remember. That's similar to my home phone number, even. 475-3448. Correct. Correct. Hello, taxi services. Uh. Well done. I do hope you, you come again soon. Thanks very much. You're so kind. Providing assistance is both expedient and efficient. It's getting late. Yes, we should go now. Even though I lied all night. I got some things in common. I have an insufficient data to f form an opinion. Uh, I don't know. Let's just be friends. Even though that didn't work out, it's okay. This isn't going to work out. A platonic relationship is the only viable option. Oh, that's a shame. 
No, it's not. It's it's all good, actually. Oh, Benedict. Yes, I'm so sorry, Minty. I need a shoulder to cry on. They seem to tick the correct boxes. Then why the fuck didn't you? Oh, never mind. Who cares? Their relationship won't continue, though. Nor will this stream. We did okay, I suppose. Living each day in springtime. I wanted to level up too. Fuck it. We're gonna we're gonna go for one more. Fuck it. Fuck it sideways. We're doing this. We are doing this hard. Okay. Oh. Um. One more day. Oh, I deduce there's someone more compatible in your database. Quite possibly. Let's try vitamin supplements. Filing system. See, that sounds very practical, as is fossil hunting. Maybe our massage therapist. Just don't talk about horoscopes. Okay. Oh, and of course, before I forget, Ella likes fossil hunting. I've never talked about... I haven't talked about interests all day, though, so that's something I should... Oh, take into consideration. And filing systems. That seems hyper-optimal. Um, that's about it. I will need to change my hair to white, which is depressing, but whatever. Come on down, you two. Benedict and Ella. You better start fucking making out soon. Okay, let's go with a Spanish restaurant this time. Why not? Viva La Spain, I guess. Oh, didn't move. Oh, there it is. Oh, I got you. All right. El Toro Picante. El Toro Picante. Bring me a doggy bag. I will not. I will do no such thing. All right. Now, Ella wants your hair to be white like hers. I think it's. I think she has some issues. You know, it's like she went. She went white at a young age. She's like, I only date men that are also white. White haired. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh. oh, that'll do. Can't change my eye colour. I wish I could. I mean, come on. How difficult is it to get some contact lenses? Vintage type lost books, domesticity, and the thing and thing. Alright. Good weather. I can sense hormones being overproduced in my system. Oh look, there's the squirtle. Uh, there's the uh, Picasso squirtle thing. Greetings, fellow human. I was surprised you were Ella. Certainly, and you must be Benedict. Most gratifying to make your acquaintance. One's very punctual, is, uh, punctual, isn't one? Oh, they, they talk the same way. That's got to be something that works out. Unnecessary delay would be highly undesirable. This restaurant is rather upmarket. It is arguably in the top percentile. Your white hair is thoroughly entrancing. I appreciate you giving me this information. <coughs> Good evening. Uh, would you be ready to order now? All right, affirmative. What is your preferred sustenance? Perhaps a cold dish with no meat? Cold dish with no meat. Cold dish. Oh, gazpacho! That'll do the trick. I will require two rations of gazpacho, please. May I sa say what a superior choice that is? Mmm, sounds divine. Yes, it does. I'm in full agreement. Pull that love handle. Make it your own. Okay. Let's talk about occupation, maybe. I've forgotten her occupation. Please tell me your occupation, Ella. I'm gainfully employed as a massage therapist. Turning on this bob, aren't they? Yeah. I like it. Don't lie and say you love it. Just say you like it. This is positive news. Indeed, it certainly is. Tell me, Benedict, what is your line of business? I'm a civil engineer. I'm currently employed as a civil engineer. Well, isn't that something? Gratitudes for your kind words. Yeah, this'll work out. Dinner is served. Does the carpet match the drapes? That's what I want to know. So we've talked about jobs. Talked about gerbs. I'm gonna type that in as gerbs. And we're, we're pulling that penis-shaped love handle thingy. Okay, ooh, let's talk about interests. Okay, apparently you have an interest in... Uh, filing systems. That's highly practical. Filing systems? Why, yes, actually, I love filing systems. That sounds both rational and logical. Indeed, I enjoy it immensely. And what might you be interested in? Oh, uh, orienteering? Cleaning the car? Cleaning the car. I've been interested in cleaning the car. I say, that sounds jolly. I'm extremely pleased by your reaction. This is fucking ridiculous. Hmm, there's a distinct smell of sweatiness in the air. Ah, oh, there's no possibility that it's me I paid just prior to this date. I should apply my emergency deodorizer just as a precaution. One moment, please. I must attend to something in the, uh, evolution area. Yes, of course. Fuck me sideways. Alright, another seven seconds. Spray your client. Here we go. I'm just gonna watch the clock to make sure I get it right. And... 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, did I actually spray him? 6.7 seconds. Okay, everything's fine. Phew! I thought I wasn't spraying him at first. Oh my goodness. All right. I've returned. Apologies for that. Ah, I do like your fragrance. It seems rather exotic. Gratitudes. It's merely a sample from a chemical company. Oh! Oh. I think they're both pretty keen on each other, to be honest with you. I don't. I honestly don't think it's going to be a problem. I'm just going to whack her. Why not? Yay! Want to jump your bones? All right, here we go. Pull that thing again. We've talked about interest. We've talked about germs. Just germs. Okay. We're, oh, we have, oh, we've already talked about occupation. We can't do any of these either. Um, looks like we'll have to spend some money and go with social things. When you're out shopping, do you like to be left to browse or like to be helped by the staff? Hmm, interesting question. We most certainly like to be helped by the staff. And what about you? Definitely like to be helped by the staff. Well, aren't we the socialites? We are apparently very similar. Yes, this is it. We've got it. Here is the bill. I hope everything was satisfactory. I will get your bill. Thank you, Manuel. How would one like to split the bill? Oh, how should I proceed? Okay, we're going to have to try to go Dutch as possible. Drop that coin. Well, at least we get some free money for this. You can try cheating too. That's always fair. I know that's, that's that's an oxymoron, but at the same time, it's very true with this game. It's always fair to cheat. Oh, oh. Fucking pachinko. I hate it. Oh, please. Come on. Okay, that's two for him. Come on, try and get it in her hole. Get it in her money hole. God damn it, that's three for him. Three, oh, shit. Come on, just one. Okay, there's one for her. Goodness. Please don't fuck this up. Yes, this is looking good. Oh, fuck! No, 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 no! Oh, God, we've fucked it, haven't we? Unless I get all three in there. I don't know. Well, hope for the best. God, he is so pain tonight. No, this is so hard. Billy Mays fucking loves you! <laughs> hey, if, if uh, someone doesn't love you in this game, uh, fucking Billy Mays will. Oh, this is pointless. I'm so bad at pachinkoing. I know there's probably a, a deal to, well, I guess he's paying. Benedict pays the bill. It would be most logical for me to pay for you. Such generosity. How genteel. I'm glad she's thrilled by this. It is only rational to be generous. It's getting rather late, isn't it? It would be expedient for us to leave then. Alright. That went swimmingly. They fulfill the criteria beyond my imagining. Fucker. Will you go out with me? So, would you like to be my significant other? Yes, my darling, my heart is yours. Task complete. True love has been achieved. Yes! Hurrah! I'm so glad that she didn't have, like, a massive bald head underneath that hat of hers. <laughs> it's like, phew! And she wasn't covering a bald spot with that hair, with that fucking hat. Oh well, that was a thing, I guess. There you go. I'm sure that will work out just fine. And I think we've leveled up. So, Benedict, we fixed you up. Romantic union has been achieved. At last, I found my soul. We'll see how that goes. We'll see. We'll see. There we go. Yes! Romance Overlord, level 17. And I'm fabulous! I am top fab. Your client's interests don't have to match their dates, but if they do, you'll get bonus points. Doing the dishes while we load it's things. It's another promotion. Mm. There's no stopping you, is there? Nope. And make me a coffee while you're at it. Oh, all right. Let's see what gets expanded. Oh my god, we got a little a little tower. This agency needs customers. Where should we advertise? Hmm. Let's find out. We can go to an arty place, vintage place, or a chic place. Hmm. Let's go with sheep, maybe. Oh, is it the business district? There are bound to be some sheep types that are looking for romance. Hoorah! We'll do that. Have I got mail? I do have mail. Let's read it. Miriam Dicklebock Dinglebocker. Oh no, it didn't work out. I had to finish it with Travis because uh, I, 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 it, I, I just wasn't that keen on him. There were some things I liked about Travis, mainly his interest in going to bookshops, but I just couldn't stand his bizarre compulsion for being clumsy. I told a couple of lies to impress him, but I, I shouldn't have bothered. I'm not sure 
but I think Travis was actually stalking me for a few weeks. Sincerely, Miriam. Rats. I'm still fabulous, though. Never mind. That's, that's a thing, I guess. So there you have it. That was pretty successful. We had one fail date, but uh, four successful ones. I'm pretty good with that. And I'm a romance overlord. Your puppet on a string. Hey, Barry is here. Online disabled. Oh. No. No. It's so sad, but it's alright. Be happy again, Barry. Everything's fine. Oh my goodness. I can't poke him. I want to poke Barry. Oh well. <laughs> I want to poke, poke Barry. You know how that is. Oh my. Oh my god. But we are well and truly done for a stream today. Can you believe it? We're moving on with things. Uh, next week is PBS Champion Wrestling. You do not want to miss that. Holy fuck do you ever not want to miss that because we've got some new people added to the roster. It's going to be new and exciting and Jesus Christ, PBS Champion Wrestling. It's great every year. Now, who am I going to host? Of course I have to find out who I'm going to host. Do, do, do. I'm going to look into these things, but get super hyped for PBS Champion Wrestling. I'm going to need like a shit ton of coffees just to keep myself like cocaine up because I'm all out of cocaine. Let's see. There's Yu-Gi-Oh, there's Bob Ross, there's Foo. Is that it? Oh, okay. Well, what do we want then? Um... Ah, oh, fuck it. We'll go Yu-Gi-Oh. Why not? Why the fuck not? <laughs> it's it's an encore presentation of Yu-Gi-Oh. There's also Bob Ross. So, no, why not? So Twitch presents. It is. Alright. So I'm just going to prepare that thing. Hosting things. We can't raid Twitch presents, but whatever. That's all good. But there you have it. That was a thing that we did that was Scribble Noughts Unmasked and a little bit of Kitty Pals Matchmaker, which is the best time, of course. Join us next week for PBS Champion Wrestling 2017. It's going to be the best of best times. You know it's going to be. Holy fuck, I'm so ready for this. My anus is practically bleeding. But that's us done. Thank you very much for joining me, everybody. I've been me, you've been you. Thank you for joining us for scribbling and romantic shit. And I'll be back next week with the finest of PBS Champion Wrestling excitement and bloodbathery. So, until next time, stay scribbly and romantic. Ooh.
Oh my.